Yeah, tick, 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 tick. Everybody doing okay? Looks like it. Kind of different things growing. What's up, Greg? Everybody looks like they're doing pretty good down here, too. The flock of chickens by the house look like they're doing well. The ducks down here look like they are, too. Let's check our other flock of chickens and our goats and dogs to see how they're doing. Ooh, look at there. We got a whole bunch of flowers on our strawberries. That's great. So nice to see my perennials coming back and coming up and looking good. And uh, this year in the garden here, this is all this area all right here is our main garden area where we typically grow a lot of annual crops from lettuces and beets and, and various things. But this year we're letting, I'm observing a land Sabbath, so I'm gonna be letting the land rest and hopefully we're getting some soil regeneration at, at the same time. Um, things are coming up right now since we've been gone and I'm gonna need to bring the animals in here real soon because uh, they're gonna let them munch on what comes up here and uh, leave some good fertilizer behind. These ladies and a couple gentlemen look like they're doing well too. All good here. Hey guys, how we doing? You doing alright? Huh? Hey Meg. Hey Meg. Hey Hazel. How we doing? How we doing? Looks like everybody's just hanging out, doing well. Hey, you got the runner? Then we got Coco here. You ready to go back in with the goats and see Sayla and run around? So we typically keep our dogs with the goats and they do really well with them. But while we're away, just for simplicity of feeding, so that way the goats aren't eating the dog's food, we do keep the dogs in a separate area, away from the goats. But it's really neat, they actually play really good together and uh, typically like that. And they also just kind of bark and help keep predators away from the goats as well. Well, it's interesting, so interesting being back. Still trying to adjust from our cross country trip. We've dealt with different temperatures, different time zones, and it's like, God, oh, we're, my body feels confused right now. Hopefully everybody will start waking up. It's a lot later than we typically wake up right now, but uh, we didn't get back home until like 2 a.m. last night. So um, hopefully they're gradually waking up because uh, we gotta unload the van, we need to get some feed, and uh, we got a lot of things we need to start doing around here. While we're away, Sarah, our friend and farm help, and her daughter, did a great job of taking care of things while we're gone, but I'm sure I also need to buy some more feed and things like that and just kind of get back in the rhythm of things. All right, let's see what we got left. Feels definitely. Oh yeah, mostly empty. Man, that's a lot closer than I wanted to be with the feed there. Uh, we've been gone a while in the past and kind of have somewhat of an idea about how much food is needed and how much feed the animals need, but uh, that's pretty close. We're actually gone just a little bit longer than uh, I originally planned for us to be gone. We're gone like right at two weeks on our, on our trip that we just got back from and uh, there's a close call with the feed there, but uh, definitely, definitely get some more. Why, good morning there. Good morning. You all rested up? <laughs> Kinda. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> How's it feel to be back? Good. I can't wait to see my goats though. I bet they're happy to see you. I just saw them over there. I got a sneak peek. So uh, looks like they're ready to see you. I'm sure they'll be happy. Coco too. She's extra happy. Yeah. <laughs> looks like it's ready to be unpacked. Let's get out of here. Let's get this thing unloaded. I don't know about you guys, but every time we go on the trip, it's always, always like we come back more 
than what we left with. <laughs> Even if, thinking about all the different food and items that we had, I'm like, surely it's gonna have a great reduction in what we bring back. And it's just like, we just brought back more. But hey, there's a lot of good stuff that we brought back. Like, we got these rocks right here from the Redmond salt mine, the salt cave. And it's just, those are pretty neat. Yeah, those are just neat. Sailor's collecting those. And we also have right here Redmond salt products, some to go in the garden, which will also benefit our soil regeneration that we're gonna be doing our soil improvement project as we're letting our garden rest this year. And you may be wondering, putting salt on the garden? But I'll explain that. It actually is really beneficial to the garden to have salt and it helps activate the organisms in the soil. So we'll go over that later. But we got some salt for the goats here and also some salt sweet for the goats and uh if we ever get some sheep and cows this year some garden salt which does a great job of keeping the flies away from them especially around their eyes and things like that Fantastic. Look at all these eggs that they gathered for us while we were gone. Now it's time to deliver some of these. Duck eggs here. Each year I do a CSA, which is basically a, a buyer's club for the farm where we have customers that we provide produce for in exchange for financial compensation. And uh, each year we include stuff from the market garden as well as other things around the, the farm. But since this year we are letting the garden rest and doing our land Sabbath, we're not providing our customers with produce from the garden, but we are still providing them with things like eggs and meat and other items. So, still keeping it going. I must admit, after all the driving that we just did, I am not looking forward to driving right now. But we have to do what we have to do. And, uh, get down. It's crazy that something came back looking so much greener. It is. You can even see pollen on the hood. <laughs> Pretty neat. And while we were out, I dropped off chicken eggs to one of our customers. And took Sayla to drop off duck eggs to another one of our customers. We also picked up some alfalfa at Tractor Supply. They got any chicks over there? No, I'll throw that. Oh, man. And then headed to our local oh, feed mill, where we typically get most of our feed yeah. from. And since we've been gone quite a while, and we're completely out of feed, I had to stock up on some feed. Right. 
raining now. And once we got back home, I filled up the feed barrel for our goats, mixing in the alfalfa with some goat feed and some other feed that we got from our local feed mill. And since the feed cost is getting up there now, it's time to start fermenting feed once again. I've done it in the past, but I definitely want to start doing it again. So I added some feed to this bucket and then headed inside to add some water in our bathtub. And so it was cloudy, then rainy, and now the sun's out. And man, it's quite an adjustment being back home. <laughs> Things are so different here in so many different ways. I'm glad to be back home, but uh, there's a lot of things that I liked about being out west. It was so much fun, like doing something like different every day, and and sure. all. I just wish we could have had more time to explore, because yeah. I know we were going a long time, but it was really like go 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 the whole time. It sure was. It wasn't one of those trips where it's like a vacation, no. <laughs> where we're kicking back and just having margaritas on the beach or anything. No. It was definitely it was like, a business boom, 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 boom. trip, <laughs> and that was the point of going out there is a business trip and, and that's really what it was yeah but it, it was amazing to get to go though yeah so it feels like we're stepping into a whirlwind with coming back in here trying to get back in the routine of things we got chicks coming and, and while we were gone we got so far behind on our videos we still have yeah. stories of things that we want to share with you guys like the salt mine you can't miss that video it's like it's, you just got to see it. So we, we definitely plan to share that with you as well, as well as some other things and some other adventures that we get to be on yeah. as well as get you updated on what's going on here and what's going to be going on. It just There's so much. There's so, <laughs> so much. It's uh, been, like, like you said, it's been a whirlwind and we're trying to catch up and we've missed the video. So we're behind. So, so we're just there with us. But we're home. Yes. And the journey here continues. <laughs> See you next time, guys. Bye, guys.